Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Cheech on the Beat. Because if not, you know the show is incomplete. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Also, hit that bell up there. Turn those post notifications on so that YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do your own lash extensions at home, especially if you're a beginner like myself. The best part about it is I only spent $7. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Here's the lashes that I'll be using for today's tutorial. I picked these lashes up from my local beauty supply store for only $2.99 each. I purchased one medium pack and one long pack of lashes. I bought this eyelash glue mainly for the applicator, not because I don't already have one, but this is Kiss's I Envy Clear Eyelash Glue. Here's a slanted pair of tweezers that I'll be using. These are my everyday tweezers. There's a basic cheap eyelash curler that I purchased from Forever 21. In a small compact mirror, I suggest that you use a mirror that can get very, very, very close to your face because it'll make your eyelash application a lot easier. I'm taking my spoolie and brushing my eyelashes upward to prep my lashes before application. I'm going to start off with the medium clusters first, apply a very small amount of lash glue, and apply it directly on top of my natural lash, as low and as close to my lash line as possible. To avoid your lash from sticking to your tweezers, make sure you clean your tweezers in between application. You can use your fingers or you can use a paper towel. It's completely up to you. Ideally, I like to create more of a wispier lash, so I'm going to randomly place down these medium clusters to create the foundation to give us more of a wispier look. The closer you get to your inner corner, the more difficult it becomes to apply these lashes. Just be very light-handed, take your time, and also pay attention to the angle and the direction of your tweezers. You always want to make sure that the sharp edge of your tweezers are pointing away from your eye. Considering I'm still a beginner, this is only my second attempt practicing this on myself, so I'm very far from professional. I like to compress the cluster with my natural lash to make them mesh together and to secure that the cluster doesn't shift as I'm applying the other lashes. The more gentle and light-handed you are, the easier this becomes for you. Now I'm going to add in those long lashes for volume and of course for some more length. Here's what the lashes look like before I add the long. These are medium only. Repeating the exact same steps, I'm going to apply the lash on top of my natural lash and as close and as low to my lash line as possible. I'm using the long clusters to fill in all the gaps and sparse areas. I want to complete my lash, so I'm going to apply those clusters all over my lash line. 
I've decided to go with a wispy lash because essentially it's good for everyday wear and aside from that it's more of a messier fluffier lash so it's easier to create. And as I place these lashes down I'm still securing them so that they don't shift. If you like more of a uniform lash, I would suggest that you use the same lengths. If you don't mind the messy look, then you can always combine lengths and you can do small and medium or medium and long. To me, the best part about this project was being able to customize the lash to my liking. You can stop and look in the mirror to see if you just want a light enhancement on your lashes or to continue adding clusters to give you more body and more volume. If you'd like your extensions to last longer than a few days, I would suggest using a different adhesive. If not, this one is fine, it's suitable, but it's only temporary. Lastly, I'm just meshing and compressing the lashes with my natural lash with my eyelash curler. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was descriptive and informative. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to stay tuned for my next video. Bye.